I've been in a cage across the border. <laughs> so, in honor of Garia Garcia Marquez, and I'm about to cry, um, I'm Colombian and I, I'm just about to cry. Um, so, in honor of Garia Garcia Marquez and Jesus was about to die and resurrect, um, I brought a piece that deals with something. All right, um, so oh, the only thing you need to know, this is in the midst of a novel, um, is when I'm talking about the babies, it's a, it's a, it's a fake baby that they're gonna baptize, okay? <clears throat> yes, well, hello. Welcome to Sebastian's baptism. This is Radio Criolla here, reporting from Miami, Florida. We got them holy signs dug into the yard, reading, those who look for him shall find his glory. And again, Sebastian has found his glory. And lastly, would you find his glory? This is Radio Criolla reporting. It's been two months, amorcito mio, since we moved to this shithole. Mommy directs people. Sebastian will be baptized inside the pastor's pool. The pool is in the patio. The patio has a fence around it. Outside the fence, dogs with red balls on their beaks fight each other over the crumbs of bread the one-eyed child throws from inside the holes. Mommy hands out money to the four ladies in black, black veils and all. She tells them to lose their rosaries and hands them small booklets with the lyrics of the song she's chosen for the occasion so that they cry to them. Mommy suggests to the crying lady number one that she should cover her chest, gives her a fake grin. Crying lady number one throws her pashmina over her the cleavage, nodding in discontent. The four of them practice some of the crying in front of Mommy, who applauds, saying, perfecto. She turns searching for me and asks, what do I think? I don't say anything, but I look around at the tables covering the gold cloth she bought yesterday when she discovered it at a tree store. The baby cradles on it, each table with a small lyrics booklet. Then the pastor snaps his fingers. Mic check, mic check. Uno, dos. Sonido. Dios nos bendiga. Mommy wants Lucia to put the tiny babies in the back so la mama can finish packaging the recordatorios. As a recordatorio of this life-changing event, every attendant will be provided with a small baggie full of goodies, which include a tiny, tiny plastic baby in a possibly small baptism of black baby couture, a mini Bible, a New Testament only, plus a psalm verse printed at Kinko's this morning, plus a bag of skills. It is time. The pastor runs up to me, hands me a tag, Magdalena, it says in cursive. Hands me a ballpoint pen, hands me the baby signing recordatorio book. I put the book on top of the small podium set up to the entrance. People will enter and sign, okay, she says. What are they supposed to write, I say. The pool is over there, outside, I'm inside. Carmen shows up, calls me a loser, and shows some pills mommy apparently told her to make me swallow. I recognize the pills. Those are not mine. Yes, they are, door lady. Your mama just handed them to me. Carmen was adopted by the pastores after her junkie mama overdosed inside a shanty comuna in Medellin. What I gathered from our encounters is that Carmen's real mama was the lover of a peso pesado coquero in Medellin, i.e. a drug dealer, um, got knocked out by the coquero, i.e. a drug dealer, who of course left her. During one of her missionary Colombian visits, the pastora met Beatriz. Carmen's mom at a shelter. After a few weeks, Beatriz finds out her ex coquero lover has been captured and extradited to the U.S. She goes wacko wacko and shuts up her arm like crazy. Colombian doctors produce a fake birth certificate in exchange for some green Benjamin Franklin. The pastora signs Carmen as her new child. But she's not really her daughter. Everyone knows that and she tells everyone so. They always introduce her as Carmen, their adopted daughter. I see mommy holding the fake dead baby on her arm. She's reclining on the fence, unmoved by the tots talking at her dress. Fake baby's baptism dress is long with sequins that shine as the last beat of sun hits this house in North Miami. 
more and more food piles outside. Bocaillo con queso, arepa de huevo, quite, niño envuelto. The dogs in the house bark, two chihuahuas, I hate small dogs. I kick one in the stomach. The one-eyed child notices and runs to tell his mama. I eat a niño envuelto. Only 20 people are outside next to the pools, sit in the black plastic chairs. Mommy's showing off her fake dead baby. Fake dead baby in sequin couture. The forgotten about me and they're about to begin. Carmen has come and gone, presenting me with three Shekinah dress options. So if anybody hears Christian, Shekinah's where they go out to dance. She asks, which one? I think of kidnapping Carmen, running off to Key West, or better, take her to the boat to Gloria Stefan's house. Gloria Stefan lives in Miami. Run off with the pastoris' daughter and ask for ransom, $10,000. Tie Carmen to a pole. Hug Carmen, then tie her to a pole. No. Make Carmen dance non-Christian songs until her, fi her family pays for her freedom. What's the difference, I ask. Carmen's sheer white gown with a huge gold cross tuned into it. Marika Magdalena, where have you been? Right here. No, you're not. No, you're not. Two months, Magdalena, two months. And the best you can do is what's the difference? You're such a dumb bitch sometimes, you know that? I know that. For two months, I've known that. But maybe that could change. This house is small. The rooms are in the back. Carmen tells me, Carmen tells me that John Mulatongo told her she was the prettiest Shekina ever to walk this church, this earth. Then I get a horrible desire to kiss her, even though she always looked terrible in her dancing dress. Even though she chews with her mouth open and a thin saliva shadow shines around her lips. Even though she is a girl and an ugly one. But then she ballerina set out to the edge of the pool where people are clap excited to see her. She does her woman warrior dance. I've seen this dance every week, but this time the flag she waves are white, are black with gold stars for the baptism of my dead brother. Mommy hands the fake baby to the pastor, who after kissing it on the hair, proceeds to enter the pool. He goes into the water, lifting up the fake baby. People have gathered around the pool now, they all hold hands. Carmen still dances around the pool doing circles with the flag. The pastor submerges the baby for a few seconds, closes his eyes, screams something out. Heavy black clouds eat away the sun in humid stillness. Summer in Miami is dark, nothing moves. Water drips from the ozone like a sweaty armpit. Someone plays, nadie como tu, señor, out of an iPod connected to speakers. An old lady I hadn't seen before pulls out her teeth and shines them with her dress. She yawns, other people yawn. The dogs still flapping in the background. Black summer midday sky. Dogs with red balls, fence patio, moldy pool, plastic baby, fingers print on sliding door, and I count one, two, fifteen comments on the baby's recordatory book, and I really have to be. Then I laugh to myself, ha, 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 ha. Magdalena, you're a tiny, tiny speck in this white, white earth, and no one's coming here to save you. So much to save me. I watch Carmen go around and around the pool, swaying that flag in the air, and I get the desire to run over and kiss her. What? Carmen? Can't we want to kiss Carmen? I look around for other people I may want to kiss, but only the dogs are close to me. I hate her. I can't be wanting to kiss the pastor's daughter. God, please. Then the baby rises from the pool, and everyone goes, ah. The wraparound sequin dress must be too heavy with water because I see a drop splash. Carmen receives the naked baby, baby doll, lifts its high, all the fake skin glimmering with the pool lights. Naked baby doll, I really have to pee. I'm here in the living room, peeing myself, staring at the dead baby brother, trying hard to have an epiphany so the moment is not lost, like right now. <laughs> Something must happen, something great must happen. Mommy used to tell me I was born for great things. Now I'm peeing my pants on my dead brother's baptism. The pee trickles down my stockings and I feel a thousand ants crawling inside my thighs, all the way to my feet and onto the floor. Carmen rocks the fake baby, smiles through the sliding door, shows him to me. I want to run and kidnap her and hug her and tie her to a tree. She's a contemporary version of Virgen Maria holding a plastic baby Jesus with a pool of halo, ropey black clouds. Thank you.
Oh, yeah.